actual PT boat that is fully restored, 100% operational, and a combat veteran of World War II. I'm here with Bob Wade, PT-305's captain. Bob, what's it like to captain a PT boat? Well, it's the most awesome thing in the world, actually. Uh, it, it's uh, very exciting, it's very fun. Uh, the, the boat's very fast. And you just imagine what it would have been like during the war operating these and having a, you know, a large crew and being fired upon at and night. And at night time, right? And at night, so very, very exciting. Five is a restored World War II vessel, right? She is an actual boat from World War II. Yes, she is, and she saw action in the Mediterranean during World War II. Uh, she sank a total of three vessels, and um, she served uh, gallantly with her crew at, during World War II. So Bob, we mentioned PT-305 being on patrol, and she patrolled the Mediterranean, fighting against um, German forces and battling German shipping. And, but why does she have swastikas on, on the bow there? Well, PT-305 at this point during the war sank two German flak lighters. So German boats would have had the swastika on them, and that was a record and a bit of pride for the boat to show those on their boat. And we were going pretty fast out there today. How fast can PT-305 go? Well, PT-305 can actually do 41 knots. That's very fast. And it looked like you were working pretty hard out there working the wheel. What's that like to, to man that wheel? It's, it seems very physical. Well, the wheel turns very easily when we're going slow. So when we're backing up or coming into the dock, there's a lot of revolutions. So it's approximately 16 revolutions from one side all the way to the other. So that's quite a bit. And when you're underway doing any kind of speed, it's very hard to turn. So it, it's a good workout. So Bob, how did you become a captain on PT-305? Well, it was a lot of work. Uh, I had to have so much sea time. So I was in the Navy. So I was able to use part of that as my sea time. And then I was the XO of this vessel for uh, over three years. So that counted as my sea time as well. Plus I had some experience in between the Navy and now which gave me sea time. Then I, had to, then I took a class and I had to take a test and it's a U.S. Coast Guard uh, test and luckily I passed the first time. I got my captain's license last year and so it's been wonderful ever since. And she is here today as kind of a living memory of the men that served aboard her, right? That's exactly right. That's, that's exactly what she's all about. Uh, this is about these men, these sailors that fought bravely and this is a memorial to them and to Andrew Higgins who built this boat. Uh, this, is, this is why we did this, is to bring this back to life. And that's right, as Bob said um, with Andrew Higgins, she was built here in New Orleans. So PT-305 being back in New Orleans, she's come back home. That's exactly right, and that's, a, that's one of the greatest aspects of this boat. Kaylee, now that we've combed our hair from our exciting PT boat ride, I think we should think about what we've learned today. We've seen how a PT boat operates, what a ship's head is, how the motor Mac runs the engines, and how the captain really operates his boat, fighting against access forces in the Mediterranean. That's right, Josh. And as we wrap up today, we're standing here on the shores of Lake Pontchartrain, where during the war, Higgins Industry tested not only their famous landing craft, but PT-305 as well. So thank you all for joining us and definitely come back and see us. Bye.